hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i achieved this beautiful senegalese twist so please keep watching if this is your first time coming across this channel you are very much welcome to the family please don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell so you get notified each time i upload new video and to my subscribers i really appreciate your love and support thank you so much so beautiful people, I washed my hair um, a night before this day and moisturized with olive oil serum and right now I'm just going to go ahead and add um, oil sheen, olive oil sheen to it. This helps make my hair a little bit shinier. So I'm just going to spray right down to my root and massage very well into my scalp. So this is the attachment I'm going to be using for the Senegalese twist. This is an expression attachment and I'm using just two packs. I already brought out one from the pack and here is the already twisted one. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I part my hair. I have a big mirror at the back and one at the front and few side mirrors that helps make it easy for me to see what I'm doing at the back and the sides of my hair right now I'm just parting and applying a little bit of gel and I'll be using the rubber band method I know some people complain of the rubber band not being um, strong enough to hold the hair or cutting along the line if you feel like it's not strong or won't hold your hair for a long time, you can double it. There is no problem doubling it if it is light. But I'm just using one rubber band to tie the hair and adding a little bit of gel. So the gel I'm using is Shining Gem. Um, if you don't have it, you can use any gel of your choice. I forgot to add a clip of it and show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, you can use any gel of your choice. But yes, don't add too much of it because too much gel can make your scarf look so dirty and the hair unkept in just a few days after making the hair. Just a little bit will do. Okay guys, now I'm done securing the hair with rubber band. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I braid. So I start braiding and then I twist. I feel like if I start twisting, um, it may not be as strong as starting to braid first. So I'm just going to braid a little bit and then I start twisting. I've done a video similar to this, um, it's also twist, I'm going to leave the link in the description so that you can check it out, that one is a um, crochet method, if you're looking to do this style in crochet method, if you think it's going to be easier for you, I'll be leaving the link in the description um, area so you can check it out. So another thing I do is um, I fold in my hair into the attachment as I twist. I try to make sure that my hair gets into the attachment then I start twisting. That way you don't see my hair sticking out from the attachment. And I also don't add gel as I twist because it will make your hair look so dirty in no time. So this is what it looks like guys. So the rubber band method is easiest way to twist your own hair and it makes it much cleaner 
if you're doing on another person's hair you can use um you can choose not to use rubber band but i feel like if it is your own hair to actually get the roots and when it comes to twisting i feel like the rubber band makes it way easier for you to like get it to be very clean like this Now I'm done twisting guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my rollers to coil the ends. Just like this. Please if you're watching you haven't subscribed, please please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments, I would really appreciate that. And now I'm just gonna carefully put inside hot water to give it the finished look just like this And I dip this uh, towel in hot water to part my hair just to ease the pen a little bit. And I'll just unravel.
thank you so much for watching till this very end i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell give the video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye